So Me Sunshine and today's video is my favourite type of video to film for you guys and that is because it's our latest X Designer Deadstock Fabric collection. So we get X Designer and Deadstock Fabrics from lots of different sources. Some are from the original designer, some are from other shops that have closed down and some of them are sourced directly from Italy and from there you get the, the fabrics from really high-end designers. So what the high-end designers tend to do is do practice print runs on different types of substrates. So for example, something that um, will be a silk base in the final piece. They might practice on a viscose base. Also as well, they sometimes play with different print scales or different colours as well. So that fabric is unused and is in a warehouse and that's when we come in and buy that fabric and then you guys can turn it into some amazing makes and I'm always so impressed with the different things that you guys sew with these incredible fabrics. So these incredible fabrics are really high quality and they're always really unique and once they've sold out we can't get them again so they're really special. Um, yeah so if there's something that you really like my advice is for you to get it as quickly as possible um, otherwise you might be a bit disappointed. So we've got some really exciting fabrics for you in this drop of fabrics. We've got a really lovely range of different types of fabrics and all these fabrics will work really well for this time of year and will also transition nicely into autumn time as well. As always, we've paired them with some patterns for you to give you some inspiration. And Lisa has kindly put on a little card showing you what the fabric would look like in the pattern for a little bit of inspiration. I should have said as well, Lisa's behind the camera and she's helped me put together this video and she does the clever editing. And Paulina's with me as well and she's packing all your orders. Thank you so much for all your orders. It means the world to me and everyone at Team Sunshine. So I'm gonna get to it and show you all the fabric. So the first fabric I've got to show you is incredible. Paulina loves it and it is a stretch cotton sateen so it's a cotton and then it's got a little bit of elastane in it to give it a bit of give. Now this is a really large pattern so I'm gonna have to hold it up above my face for you to see. Ta-da! It's so beautiful, it's just a really large floral design it's absolutely stunning and hopefully you can see the scale that it's very very large right i'm just going to put it down for you guys so it's a really beautiful blown up image of a flower the colors are just amazing it's really really incredible really special not something we normally come across now lisa's just mentioned as well is that if you were didn't want the fabric to have that extra give and you want it to be a little bit more structured because it is a pretty structured fabric as it is as you can see but if you want it to be even more structured you could just interface the whole thing now this fabric comes up in panels, so we're gonna sell it per panel. Um, so the inspiration we thought of is taking into consideration the fact that it will be a panel. So this, it will be a little bit, yeah, it's this one, isn't it, Lisa? This yeah. is the original. So it'll be, it's quite wide along, I think it was 145 centimeters wide and the length will be 125 centimeters. So it's a decent sized panel. Um, and like I said, really, really beautiful. It's nice and silky against the skin, nice and soft. And then you've got this incredible design. So we spent a long time as a team trying to think of like different things we'd make with this. Now, one thing you could do is go for a bag, I think, and show it off. But if you wanted to make a garment, we all thought you just really needed something that would show off that flower pattern. And what we thought was that it, you could incorporate it by using it as the back piece of a jacket. And because it's a small piece, we thought it worked really well. It's kind of like a gilet, so like a sleeveless little jacket. And the pattern that I came to my, to my mind is by I Am Patterns, and that's the Hather. And we've just restocked the paper patterns for that. 
Now I'm thinking of version B because version B is the more simplest uh, version so it's a sleeveless little jacket it does have fastenings at the front but you could omit those and you could omit the pockets just really have it very simple to show off the fabric to its full potential and just imagine that paired with like just some jeans and like a plain tee it would look really really eye-catching and would really show off the fabric to its full potential so I've got two other stretch cotton sateens to show you They've just got such a luxurious silk-like finish to them. These have a little bit more stretch compared to the really large floral panel I've just shown you. And they're a little bit lighter in weight as well. They still have a good amount of structure, but they definitely have more drape than the one I've just shown you. So this has a really beautiful abstract kind of large blue squiggle design all over it really love that and then we also have this one which was from the same designer which looks like sorry this one so it's covered instead of the squiggles it's got like a geometric shape design all over it really really fun so they're the same colors so they work really well together if you can see if I hold them up together you can see they work really well together now this one because it's got more of the denser blue sections it's it's more opaque than the sec than the one with less blue throughout it now we thought it'd be great to incorporate both of those fabrics within one garment and what better way to do that but to choose a co-ord set. So we've got two options for you today depending on what your style is. The first one is the Tilly and the Buttons SD co-ord set um, and we thought that for the more geometric version you could use for the trousers and then the squiggly one for the top. We think that would look really really cute together. And then the other co-ord is from Friday Pattern Company and that's the Saturday skirt set. And again, I think the uh, geometric for the skirt and the squiggles for the top, it would look really, really cute and a really lovely set to wear throughout um, the summertime and then going into autumn. So this is an amazing bottom weight fabric. So it is a twill, so it's almost like a drill-like texture. It's got quite a large, um, twill weave running throughout it it has so it was sold to us as 100% cotton but we think it might have a little bit of elastane in it it has a very small amount of stretch now it's got a really good structure to it as you can see and just look at that floral pattern it is absolutely incredible um, and it would work really well for making a bag as well as some structured garments. Now we were really inspired by the Great British Sewing Bee for this um, pattern pairing and we just think embrace the floral and make yourself a boiler suit. So we thought the Blanca flight suit by Closet Core Patterns would be incredible in this fabric and although it's got a light coloured background because it's a heavy fabric it's completely opaque and with the added small amount of stretch give within the fabric, it'd be quite comfortable as well, but it works so well as a jumpsuit or a boiler suit, and it'd be great, and you'd be able to wear it all throughout, like autumn, winter time as well, because obviously you've got those that extra layer compared to something lightweight. It's just really special, this print. So this is another cotton twill fabric for you. It's really, really pretty. It's got a denser twill weave throughout it um, and it's got a really lovely structure as you can see. So it's got a white background and then it's covered in this directional print design in blue. It's a really traditional um, French design pattern so you, you might recognise it really really beautiful and we thought this fabric would look incredible sewn up into a jacket and because of the French print design we were inspired to pick out 
a French pattern designer and that designer is Atelier Brunette and it's their La Veste which is a jacket pattern. It would look really great sewn up into this fabric and um, we think it would look great dressed up or dressed down casually. It'd be a really versatile jacket that you could wear all year round. So this is a really beautiful, fine, luxury cotton lawn fabric. It's got a really silk-like finish to it, really smooth against the skin. Now you might recognise this because we did have it in a pink colourway um, quite a few months ago, but we've also got it in this stunning blue colourway. So it's got a darker blue background and then the lighter blue has um, pictures all over it so you've got like trees and fruit and raindrops and flowers and then you've got um faces all over it as well it's really really fun fabric now with this because it's a cotton lawn it's a really versatile fabric so you could make yourself a shirt or a blouse or a dress but we thought it'd look really great sewn up in the tilly in the buttons lyra dress we just think it'd be really, really fun at dress to wear. And again, you could layer it up when it starts to get a bit chillier here in the UK. So you guys might remember our dead stock fabric release, which included a large range of patchwork floral designs. Now, we found this one. So this one is a blue and black and white patchwork floral design. So I'm just gonna hold it up really high for you so that you can see all the different sections. So it's really, really fun. And it's a viscose um, base and it's a viscose jacquard. So there's a design that's been woven into the fabric that's really subtle. And it just, when it catches the light, the fabric, that's when you can see the design. And then it's printed in this incredible patchwork floral design. So my favourite element on it is these kind of wavy checks running through it. I think it's really, really fun, very, very modern. And then you've got more of a classic floral throughout it as well. I really love the colours in this as well. And despite it having a lot of white throughout it, it is pretty opaque. So you wouldn't necessarily need to line it. It has a really nice weight to it. It's a viscose satin, so it's got a very, very beautiful silk-like finish to it. And it's got a good weight to it as well. I'd say it's similar to like a viscose twill type weight. And it's got a really beautiful drape because of that viscose content. So it drapes really beautifully. Now, because of the patchwork design, I think it's important to pick out a dress or blouse pattern that doesn't break up the print too much and we thought it would look amazing sewn up into like a big dress and we couldn't resist choosing the Wilder Gown by Friday Pattern Company. We just think it really show off the fabric to its full potential. It looked really really fun and again a really versatile garment to wear throughout the year. So this is another viscose fabric for you, but this is a viscose crepe. So it's got that really crepe-like texture. It's lighter in weight than the last fabric I've shown you. And it's got a really beautiful fluid drape. Now it is, I'd say slightly sheer because of that cream background, but it would be on preference whether you wanted to line it. And again, I'm gonna put it over my head, but it's just, a beautiful floral design. I love how the stems like flow through the fabric. I think it's really, really beautiful. And again, really unique, not something we come across regularly from different suppliers. So yeah, we really love this one. And Lisa thought it would look great as a shirt dress. And we picked out the pattern by Named Patterns and that is the Rita dress. Now I've completely pronounced that incorrectly because Pauline is from Finland and she's told me how to pronounce it properly, but I still can't get my head around it. Um, especially because it's rolling R's and I, I can't do it. Um, so I apologize for not saying it right. And I didn't realize that I was pronouncing it wrong until recently but 
there you go. It's a really lovely um, pattern and we've got it in the paper format here at Sew Me Sunshine and it would really look stunning in this fabric and I think it would be a dress that you'd be able to dress up or down and again be able to layer up when it does get a bit cooler later in the year. So the last two fabrics I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you them together and that's because they're both on the same base base slash type of fabric and they're the same pattern just a different colorway so they're really really special because they're 100 percent silk and they're such a quality print and fabric type they are so silky soft to touch against the skin i think it's really bad to say that i've got a favorite but i really love these two fabrics they're just so special so if I show you the blue and red one, so as you can see, it's got tiny little floral design in this geometric square print, which is really fun. And despite it actually having this light background, they're actually pretty opaque. They have a really beautiful fluid drape as well. It's just so pretty. And then this one, is a green and blue color. It's again, really pretty. I can't decide which one I like more. I mean, you could incorporate both colorways into a garment. That would look really, really fun. Um, now with these fabrics, we've picked out two patterns for you to give you some sewing inspiration. So one of them is by Atelier Brunette and it's their chemisette um, blouse. We just think it would look really, really beautiful sewn up into the, one of these silks. And again, dress up, dress down. It would look great with a pair of jeans as well as dressing up going out. And we also think it would look great as a little um, cami top, but we thought make it a bit more special. And we chose the pattern by True Bias, which is the, I've forgotten the name, Lisa. Calvin. The Calvin wrap top. So it does come as a Calvin, as a dress version as well, but it, you can make it into the top and it's like a little simple kind of cami wrap top. Really, really pretty. And again, would work really well in these silks. They are just so special. If you're new to sewing with silk, um, head on over to our website and on the blog section under learn, there is a guide for sewing with silk fabrics. It gives you some top tips for sewing with them as well as some more pattern inspiration too. But these are just honestly so beautiful. Um, we, don't, we don't have much of either of them actually, um, unfortunately. But we, we got as much as we could, but this was what they had left and there's not much on the rolls. And also to mention as well, they're quite narrow. All of those details will be on the fabric listings. But yeah, we love these. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you absolutely love this drop of dead stock fabrics as much as I do and the rest of the team does. Like I mentioned at the beginning, these are all limited stock. We won't be able to restock any of these. We bought what was left. So once they've gone, they've really gone. We've tried to incorporate a big range of different types of fabrics for this drop. And hopefully our pattern pairings has given you some sewing inspiration too. Let us know below which fabric is your favorite. It's always great to hear from you and what you're planning on sewing with it. And, um, Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to us here at So Me Sunshine that you watch. And don't forget as well, if you're local tomorrow um, between 11 and three o'clock, all the details are on the website, but we have a special open day to celebrate our sixth birthday party. Um, so it's a little celebration. We're having an open studio and there'll be some cakes and also Louise from Ethel and Jane will be here selling some of her um, beautiful things as well. And you can come and see us and chat to us. And I'm sure there'll be lots of people here talking about sewing whilst eating some delicious cake from the Luminary Bakery. But it'll be great to see you if you're local and you can pop down. Like I said, it's between 11 and 3 and all the details are on our website on the events page. Um, but if you're not local, don't fear. Um, keep an eye on social media. There might be some surprises coming. But yeah, um, thank you again so much for watching and thank you so much for everything over the last 
six years couldn't have done it without any of you guys and yeah thank you that we're still here and we can't wait to find out what the next six years has in store for Sony Sunshine I look forward to seeing you soon take care bye